Business Today is brought to you by Signal Financial Group. To my people out there working hard to expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream. Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back. It's forward thinking on to the new stuff. It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future. Get set for Signia to be sure. The world will be yours. Take you to exceptional, incredible new heights. And get set for Signia. Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs. This is The Business Today for Tuesday, June 24th, 2014. I'm Vic Fernandes. Economist Dr. Clyde Maskell warns the Barbados economy is fast-headed in the wrong direction and there will be no growth unless residents are given more money to spend. Speaking as part of a First Citizens Investment Services Market Outlook panel discussion recently, Dr. Maskell described the Frundell Short administration as a parasite, charging that it only wants to impose taxes. He says the government has made some serious errors in the management of the economy, and it has faltered on a number of promises. Well, you told them that. You told them that you were going to reduce your debt, and the debt is there. You told them you're not going to borrow money, any more money from the central bank, and you borrow more. You told them that you were going to increase revenue. But where you can get revenue? in the economy where people have not had an increase in salary for the last six years. When they spend money, spending money is the basis of getting revenue, because spending money is what causes an economy to grow. An economy is about consumption and investment for the most part. The tourism sector is showing signs of recovery, but challenges still linger. Head of Research at First Citizens Investment Services, Vanji Bagu Ramratan, says the economic environment in Barbados and the rest of the region remains volatile, and it is therefore critical for measures to be put in place to protect the industry. In her presentation at the panel discussion, she raised concerns about the impact of rising unemployment. Now, the key challenge for the Caribbean is re reducing the high level of public sector debt with an average of 100% of GDP for the region. That is definitely too high and it inhibits any sort of, um, any sort of measures that aim to generate economic growth in the region. Improving competitiveness, particularly within tourism-dependent countries, Addressing financial vulnerabilities, especially in the ECC region given the Grenada situation and their intention to restructure their debts. Improving GDP growth rates, again, to create sustainable employment opportunities. And, of course, dismantling or adjusting the terms of the petro caribe Agreement will have dire effects on the Caribbean countries that are part of that agreement. Last year, it was estimated that visitors to the region spent about 28.1 billion U.S. dollars. In Barbados, tourism and travel directly supported 14,500 jobs in 2013, or 11.1% of total employment. The branch manager of Guardian Life of the Caribbean, Amando Marcano, says he is satisfied with regulations governing the insurance industry in Barbados. He tells Business Today there is no need for policyholders to worry since the Financial Services Commission, FSC, is doing its best to safeguard stakeholders following the Clico fiasco. I think that uh, FSC so far is doing an excellent job and in trying to put things in place to protect the policy owners of Barbados. And I think that is one thing that you're doing. And remember this since the Clico issue. But we have had a lot of problems yes, in the whole Caribbean, and everybody had to, to make new rules. The main problem that we have had over the last five years is that the government has not made a decision about Kiko, and that is where the problem exists financially. But as far as what FSC is doing, the, the executive team, they are, I, th I think they're in the right part. Sandals Resort International has reported a 44% drop in its communications costs just one year after implementing a communication solution from Digicel. The Pan-Caribbean Closed User Group, CUG Solution, from Digicel Business enables unlimited calling on the Digicel network between employees across its 15 locations throughout the region. 
Director of Business Administration and Processes at Sandal Resorts International, Wayne Cummings, expresses delight with the savings and the improvement in their communication system. Now for today's financial tip. It is never a good thing to have a bad credit rating. Make sure to repay your student loans or any other outstanding debt. Not doing so could affect your ability to receive other credit, such as a credit card or even a mortgage in the future. That's been The Business Today. Join us again on Thursday. Until then, you can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribing to our e-paper, and liking us on Facebook. I'm Vic Fernandes. Business Today is brought to you by Signal Financial Group. To my people out there working hard to expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream. Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back. It's forward thinking, on to the new stuff. It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future. Get set for Signia to be sure. The world will be yours. Take you to exceptional, incredible new heights. And get set for Signia. Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs.